Hey everybody, let me show you what we got over here today. This is a MacBook Pro uh, A1502 2015. So the problem this was having was the keyboard all of a sudden stopped uh, stopped working. It was, you know, when I took a look at it, you can see that the keyboard is a little gunky and some of the keys are sticky. Pretty sticky. Well, wow. yeah. So I asked the customer if there was anything spilled. They said, no, nothing spilled, and that was about it. So the diagnostic, I mean, it's already fixed, but the diagnostic for this, uh, First, we went through the, uh, you know, check the keyboard flex, disconnect, reconnect, make sure that's good to go. We got the same thing out of that, no result. I do have some external keyboards. I don't have one here. But on this model, well, on most models, you're able to put an external keyboard right on the back of this right here and actually test it. So that's what we did there. Um, actually, let me show you that. Yeah, if you got a problem with uh, with a keyboard, this one wasn't working at all, so the culprit was something else. But if you got bad keys or something like that, uh, if you just purchase, I mean, this is just a keyboard by itself, you're able to test this right off of the top right here. Pop that one off, slide that one there. What I do there is I tape these sides down just to hold it in place, and then you're able to, to test that keyboard. So uh, we went through that, tested the keyboard, same thing, no, uh, no keyboard present. And uh, basically this unit specifically, this flex back here, that really is the trackpad flex. From the trackpad to the board, it doesn't connect to the keyboard, but there is some relationship with that flex. Because in the past, I had another unit that had a similar problem. I believe it wouldn't turn on. Uh, I believe, yeah, the, the keyboard uh, it wouldn't turn on. And after diagnosing it, when we would take off this flex, then the power button would work. Something to that effect. So I, I know from uh, other work that we've done on other units that this flex has a relationship with the board. So I removed that. I took a look at the flex when we took it off, and it did have a little bit of corrosion. How it had corrosion under here, without any other signs anywhere else, you know, beats me. Did it come in from the trackpad? I don't know. Um, so I did have one here. I had another unit here. Replaced uh, the flex. As you can see, this is a used flex. It's a little roughed up. So replace that flex. And that solved the problem, pretty much. Of course, the keys are still sticky and all that, but that was the solution. So that's a little tip for you. A1502 2015. If you're having problems, well, obviously, if you're having problems with the trackpad, you're going you're gonna to check out that flex, and you're going to check out the, the trackpad. But even if you're, ha if you're having problems with the keyboard, or the power button. Remember the power button on here, on this unit, is on the keyboard. The problem with the power button, problem with the keyboard, check the connection. You can test another one back here, and then test another flex or replace uh, that flex. So that's, uh, that's what we did. And the computer is up and running by replacing that flex. And that's what's going on tonight at PC 911.